So I was just going through the shed and we're um, just making this bucket up. It's got a couple of hooks in it. And we got some long lines that have been, oh, they've been in the shed for years. I um, I used some years and years ago, only like 20 hook kind of things. You can drop them down in the sand areas between the rocks. You just get some really big turbot, but they were so thick, the turbot, because they're living in a rocky area. And yeah, I used to get like a 20 hook drop down and get the odd turbot here and there, the odd brill, that sort of thing. You get bass and stuff as well, and blonde ray and that sort of thing. But they've been kicking around in there for years and years. And that's five or six years ago, I put out, I tried some, and I caught all I caught was a dogfish and a conga. And then tried again another day, caught nothing and nothing. And I just gave up because it was before I went to Sweden, I had all these was catching plenty of those fish. And then as soon as I came back, it was just nothing. So they've been sitting there for years. There's one in here, so like I said, it's only about 20 hooks, I suppose. So we're going to put it in this bin. And we might, well, we're going to go and put it out at some point. And for you, probably if you're watching this now, um, we're going to be heading out in a minute. Well, it'll be another day, obviously, but we'll give it a go. Just at the moment, we're just, I've got lots of, um, see here, these are traces that were made up originally. So we're going to tie them all on. They're still all right. The hooks aren't rusty or anything. Tie them all on, stick them in this bin, and then we'll feed it out. And hopefully we'll catch some fish on it um, with a bit of lock, maybe a turbot or a brill or something like that. But first, we're going to set it all up, then we're going to go and find some bait, then hopefully catch some fish. Start lowering it though, but just don't put it in the box. Lower it in the I'm pulling up the long line. We think, what the hell's going on? Can't go any way. Just turned around. Wait a minute. Can you see which way the road goes? It points. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that. I'm trying to see where the line's going. 
because we've got to get up fast. Stretch the clock, smash the clock. I don't know where to go. It's not even a spot yet. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, it's a long road. on there. Keep, just keep bringing it up. Dogfish, that one. That is a dogfish. Nice big off, Look at the size of that. That's huge. That's huge. <laughs> Just lift it in. I'm going to let this eel go. I'm going to have to cut it though. Swallowed the hook. I'm going to have to. The hooks we use on this will rust off very, very quickly. That's why we use these hooks. Within a day or two, they're gone, these things. Oh, that's that short trace. <laughs>
balık ne? Have it. Whole pile of sharks and huge bullhars. I mean, look at my foot compared to that one. That's got to be like how big do you reckon? 18, 20 pounds? It's got to be two of them like that. Two. I mean, that well, three. Awesome. So what are we going to do? I mean, that conga's injured quite badly. That one for some reason. So we're going to take that big one. I think we'll keep the big conga and bullhars. Put them back. Or do you want to keep one? For cooking. I don't know if they're suitable for eating. Of course like, they are. That's, are they, that's okay. the best rock oh, salmon okay? one, yeah? yeah? This is the one prized over the little one. Oh, okay then, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you pick one to keep. I would say put the big ones back. Or yeah. I was looking at this one here, actually. This one. That, that medium one? Yeah. Right, we're going to take a medium one. I'm going to put all the rest back. We'll take that one for food and we'll keep that large conga and everything else i'm going to put back i was not expecting this i was expecting maybe a conga and a dogfish if we we're lucky and maybe a turbo or a brill but to catch this lot is just crazy just shows how many dog bullocks and congas there are down there and this is the middle of the day congas normally feed at night mostly Um, can I have a couple of... Right, so... Put this one back first. That was a slightly darker one, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they do vary. Yeah. But look at it go. Cool, eh? And then this one. This one, he's got the mackerel still. Still got the mackerel as a prize. Don't bite me. <laughs> he's spinning around that one. That one's the one you're going to keep, eh? Yeah. This one, because it might be, you know, good breeding ones, you know? go and then this eel can go back as well let's be pick it up this will be quick and this one will keep I don't know what's wrong with this eel but look at its throat yeah it's got a something really wrong with that or something yeah so we'll keep that one and this is the one we'll keep for food yeah 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 right then so what they call rock salmon will be on the menu.
So there you go, that was a video on long lining. Now, I've been planning to do one for a while, but we've obviously we had the in the past we've had bad weather or the wind's just been too strong to do those lines. Now, as you saw, we only did 20 hooks. That's all I normally would do. Basically, I'm putting a, a long line down, trying to get it amongst sort of sand gullies, that kind of thing, in a very rocky area. And they used to hold turbot and a few brill, and I used to get a few turbot brill, even the odd bass and the odd blonde ray. As you saw, all we got managed to get was congas and bullhoss, but I think we had five congas and six bullhoss in total. Now, we took just the one conga and the one bullhoss. We released everything else. The bullhoss is in the freezer at the moment. We'll be having that at some point. It's all filleted and ready to go. And we're actually having the conga tonight. So haven't had conga for years, actually. So we thought we'd have a, have a try of that after such a long time. I've actually forgotten what it tastes like. Anyway, I thought I'd do something different for a change. If you like this sort of video, then give it a like. And uh, don't forget to consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. And if you want to see more, just leave a comment. And uh, we can do some more of these in the future. Like I say, it's not something I tend to go out and do much these days with long lines. I mean, I used to do a few years ago, but not so much anymore. Well, not so much. This is the first one in years. But like I say, if you want to see any more, just put a comment and uh, we can do some more in the future. Till the next one.